My name is Xue Hang Wang. I'm now a postdoc researcher at Drexel University. Here, I would like to present our paper on behalf of all co-authors and my supervisors, Professor Yuri Gogozi and Professor De Chen. The title of our paper is Selective Charging Behavior in an Ionic Mixture Electrolyte -like Supercapacitor System for Higher Energy and Power. For energy storage devices, we always require higher energy density with higher power density. As energy is in proportional to the capacitance and the square of the voltage, high energy density can be achieved by using ionic liquid electrolyte with large voltage window and micropowers material with high normalized capacitance. But ion transportation resistance will also be large due to the large ion size of organic ions and the small size of pores leading to the reduction of power density. A strategy for enhancing energy density without sacrificing power density is highly needed. The energy and power property are determined by the charging process, and the charging process is determined by the ion-ion interactions. The ion-ion interactions have at least two contributions, electrostatic effects and steric effects. Reducing the ion-ion interactions has always been used to assist ion diffusion. Reduction of the electrostatic force can be achieved by adding solvents, but the normalized capacitance may also reduce due to the formation of the solvation shell. Ionophobicity of the material will mitigate the steric effects by offering initially unfilled pores, but no material show ionophobicity so far. Controlling the charging mechanism may also reduce the ion transportation resistance, but it is impossible to control the charging process intuitively. In our study, instead of minimized ion-ion interaction, we show how the ion-ion interaction can be used to realize a selective charging behavior and hence simultaneous enhancement of energy and power. Ions with smaller size occupy smaller area on the electrode surface, leading to higher density of ions per surface area and hence higher capacitance. The smallest cation for ionic liquid is 1 ECN, 3 Messian, Imidazolian, or EMIM ions. Even smaller cations such as tetramethyl ammonium or TMA ions cannot form room temperature liquid phase with other anion combinations. In order to take advantage of small size of TMA ions, we think, how about we add the TMA ions into the EMIM BF4? Then we can get a series of the TMA, EMIM, BF4, ionic mixture in liquid phase. In mesoporic carbon, based on GCD curve and CV curve, we can observe that the capacitance increases with the increase of TMA concentration. Butterfly curve allows us to analyze the voltage window of positive and negative electrodes separately. The balance between positive and negative electrodes move to the negative electrode sides after the adding of TMA ions. That indicates more cations absorbed on the negative electrode. But can we really attribute the higher capacitance to the smaller size of TMA ions? By performing DFT simulation, we find that it is true that TMA ions is distributed in the mesopause with EMIM ions. But the smaller ions of TMA cannot explain enhanced capacitance. Although the EMIM is larger than TMA in molecular volume, but the shape of the ions are also very important. If we consider the shape of the ions into consideration, TMA and EMIM should occupy a similar surface area on the electrode surface. Then we find that the enhanced capacitance can be explained by the weaker cation-cation repulsion between the TMA and EMIM ions. That is because imidazolian ring is an electron-rich pine system. There is a partial negative charge above and below the ring and it will attract the positively charged TMA ions. In this way, TMA and EMIM ion mixture can be packed closer than EMIM only system. Then, more cations can be absorbed in the same electrode material and result in higher capacitance. We used the three mesoporage carbon with different pore size distribution. The capacitance increases consistently with the adding of the TMA BF4 into the EMIM BF4. By taking the cation-cation interaction into consideration, 
the capacitance improvements estimated by the simulation also matches well our experimental results. However, when the electron material changes from mesoporous carbon to microporous carbon, both experiments and simulation unexpectedly suggest that the capacitance does not enhance after the adding of TMA ions. If we plot the capacitance enhancement as a function of pore size, we can find that the more mesopores, the higher capacitance improvement will be observed by adding the TMA ions. It means the adding of TMA can only enhance the capacitance of mesopores. In order to figure out the difference between micropores and mesopores, we performed solid state NMR. On carbon 13 spectra, six types of carbon on EMIM and one type of carbon on TMA can be identified. The signature peak for TMA can be clearly distinguished from the six EMIM peaks. For mesoporous carbon, the intensity of TMA peak becomes even stronger than EMIM peak after charging. It means the TMA ions are soaked on the electrode surface and are closer to the surface of electrodes. For micropower carbon, the signature peak of TMA does not show clear change before and after charging. That means the state of TMA didn't change after charging. The NMR spectra clearly indicates that the TMA ions can only access the mesopores after charging but cannot enter the micropore. By further DFT simulation, we find that TMA ions has stronger cation anion attractions with BF4 anion comparing to EMIM ions, making TMA more difficult to separate with BF4. Reducing the ion ion interaction between TMA and BF4 by adding solvents, TMA can also enter the micropores, but we find that the ion transportation resistance of PMA is much larger than EMI ions in micropores. Interestingly, we already know that the TMA ions is only allowed to assess the mesopores in our ionic mixture electrolyte thanks to the cation anion injections. The rate capability becomes better when the concentration of TMA increases to 15% as the adding of TMA into the EMI and BF4 enhance the conductivity of the electrolyte. Further increase the TMA concentration to 25%, the rate capability decreases again. That is due to the increased viscosity of the electrolyte. With such a poor size selective charging behavior, a simultaneous energy and power improvement is observed using ionic mixture electrolytes. As a conclusion, here is a schematic showing the selective charging process. In micropores, as TMA ions has larger cation anion injections, the entrance of TMA into micropores is not allowed. With the entrance of only EMI ions with smaller electrostatic force, we will not increase the ion transportation resistance. It is good for the power property of the supercapacitor. In mesopores, with lower resistance of ion transportations, TMA and EMIM can access together, and due to the weaker cation-cation repulsion between EMIM and TMA, the mixture of ions can be packed closer and bring about higher capacitance. Finally, we would like to thank all fundings, including Research Council of Norway, NOFAB, U.S. National Energy Research Scientific Computing Center, and it Interface Reactions, Structures, and Transport Center, an Energy Frontier Research Center founded by the U.S. Department of Energy, Office of Science, and Office of Basic Energy Science. Thank you for listening.